Oh yeah, here we go. We are back on the Guitargate Reacts Request page. If you're a student, you get to pick what comes next on YouTube. Nice little perk, right? So, time for some more Radiohead. Eloise Elos Walker says, Man, after seeing your reactions to the In the Basement sessions, I couldn't wonder what you'd make of their song Street Spirit. It might not be Tom's best vocal performance, but the way the two guitars harmonize and the melodies dance together is magical. I'd love to see you check this out. Well, this is for you, Eloise. Yeah, it's got to be Eloise, right? Thanks for being a member on Guitargate, supporting the channel and taking my lessons. Here we go. That was us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, I don't even know if it was on purpose. I hope it's on the record. Please let me know in the comments. Check this out. A minor. A minor, keeping this open E pedaled, and you got this E, D, so that's A minor sus four, C, A minor, A minor sus two, right? So you got this. Now the melody comes in, A minor, but it ascends, that part descend, right, right? Going down. Now this. One, two, flat three, two. And then it goes up, that high part, up to the fifth. So it's just straight. But that's not what's super cool. What's super cool is this next little part where it goes to E minor and keeps this little that same motion going, but then the vocal moves over to E and then check this out. Check, see if you catch this little guy. Yeah, my friends, little E to F, little so, so, little half step action, little, little half step above the root of that E chord. It's very cool, subtle, cool. Get into it. See, descending. Point this out, melody. Go into the C chord, right? Right on C, and then it's the half steps. All, pentatonic scales, music nerds, stay with me, okay? Pentatonic scales, the point of them is to have no half steps, to sound like a voice, to avoid those half step jumps. He's leaning into them everywhere. 
this right on the root of C, right? But then when it goes to E minor, it just drop it a half step to B. It's the fifth of B, of course, right? Oh, sorry. Root it, B is the fifth of E. Okay? Put it. Haunting. So cool. And really adds to the that was that was introduced before. Very Pink Floyd, very set the controls for the the sun. Right? You with me? you hear is that right G F E so straight down the C major scale everything's coming from C major right same key as a minor relative major and minor yin and yang um, and so adding that little a fourth over right because G is a fourth over from D F is a fourth over from C so it, it really adds to that, that right really adds to it. Uh, sounds similar is what I mean adds to it. Same cadence, but up a fourth. And the 12 string just makes it huge. Up to D this time. Just take those three notes. It'd be like one flat two flat three. It, he's nailing the little Middle Eastern inflection here. That that very cool. Listen for it again. stopped and went back. Listen for it. See if you hear it. I'm going to use my finger to point to the note. You don't think these guys know what they're doing? 
for the first time, I think, I think we get an E7, okay? Which means a G sharp is your major third. So we've been in minor land all day. Your E's have been minors. We've been Ging. G, 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 okay? I don't think. Here's what I'm gonna say. They've probably E7 before. These are live. I don't, <laughs> I don't edit these because I want them to be, be uh, uh, real, unlike everything else you see on the internet. But here's the point. Our melody's starting from G. G is what's in key. In the key of C, we have a G. You know this, okay? You're borrowing from harmonic minor, okay? Getting that G sharp, which is now the third of E major or E7, which is the leading tone to go to A minor. So it's that melody again, three notes in a row. That's it. G, G sharp, A. Couldn't be simpler. Of course the notes are not in any one key. It's that one little change. Making your five chord major, having a major third, okay? That's why harmonic minor exists. It's to get that G sharp. It's the point, right? Because it has a stronger pull back to one. And especially if you save it till the end, oh man, it just stuck out like a sore thumb. If they did it before and I missed it, ah, missed it. Got it this time. Radiohead! See that, see that movie doing there? Love me some Radiohead. Who sent me this? Eloise, I love you. If you wanna be like Eloise and pick what comes next on my YouTube channel, that is a thank you that I give to my students that learn how to learn this thing and this thing and this thing from me over at my website, Guitargate. It's the first link in the description. It's everything you need to play, whether you're beginner, intermediate, advanced, and you get to find new music and take us on a journey of where we should go next. So that interests you, click the button. I'd love to have you. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you dig the vibe here, please hit subscribe. That's it, my friends. I love you. Keep it in your hands. Listen to more Radiohead. Cheers. <laughs>